The world lives in despair. We see our nature up in flares, where the clouds of darkness beseech the orange skies, with whirling cyclones leaving us destitute as a prize. A fire that engulfed a million hectares left it bare, with billions of native species now living in stories to share. Generation has particularly uh, woken up the rest of the world to the emergency, to the importance of addressing climate change, and that is because it's their it's their future that which matters. Hear the voices heralding for climate action today on the street. Come from the youngest, not the brilliant minds facing the heat. They are charging forward to the beats of collective action, seeking justice for the planet with the help of a fraction, with hope for catalytic reaction. Very supportive of educating the children on, on these very important issues, but I think it's infinitely more important to educate the adults. Absolutely. Because um, by the time these children are in positions of power, this game is going to be over. When devastation and distraught is all that we got, it is time that we change the whole plot through our actions and through our thought. And the generation who are calling us to take action, we cannot ignore, we need to respond. Presenting the very first Pan India Model United Nations which is focused on the Sustainable Development Goals. It is a unique program run by the students to unite with their peers across the country as an environmentally conscious and socially responsible citizen of Mother Earth. gentlemen namaste good evening and a very warm welcome to one and all who have joined us today for the launch of india man program for 2021 before we begin i would like to express my gratitude to the unfccc unep CB cbse board and our academia governing council and the organizing team who have extended support to this program and in its development in India thus far. Today, we are not here to announce our program plan for 2021, but we make a beginning of a collaborative effort to nurture the next generation of climate conscious young leaders to drive the sustainability movement in India. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be our youth who will suffer the greatest, albeit the toughest consequences of the climate crisis. Today's youth are determined not to simply be the victims of climate change, but possess tremendous power to hold decision makers accountable and influence them to take necessary steps towards climate action. But the question remains, is this enough? If we were to look at making a change, to drive climate action in India, we need the youth to collaborate, to think, discuss, and derive innovative solutions that will help us resolve climate-centric issues ranging from local to regional and eventually at the country level. If we were to create an environmentally stable and resilient planet, it is our youth, India's youth, who will have a greater say in creating one. Our youth that co constitutes over 15% of the total population is a powerhouse to deliver and drive the biggest acts of climate action. While we have seen you and heard your voices to demand climate action solutions, but what we need is your participation more and more at the table when decisions are taken around climate related policy formulation as well as its implementation. This is where a program like India Month is well positioned to help our young minds showcase their creativity, 
cultivate their ability to define and deliver solutions and possess determination towards climate action. A unique collaboration between students, academia, and educational boards, along with support from corporates in India. India Man, a national program, will help unite our youth towards climate action. With the COP26 conference commencing tomorrow, where nations across the globe will raise their climate commitments, my dear youth, you can play a pivotal role in helping everyone adapt and accept the transition towards a climate resilient India. As an educationalist, I have always believed that education helps students develop a strong personal connection to climate solutions, as well as a sense of personal agency and empowerment. It can have a consequential impact on stu students' daily behaviors and decision -maker makes makings. And hence, my dear youth, you again, I'm repeating, you can play a pivotal role. So when you do take your place within the leadership roles, you will be well prepared to build on this foundation to further expand and modify the role as the next generation of climate resilient leaders of the 21st century. Dear youth, if we were to look at achieving the Paris Agreement's goal of restricting global warming to well below two degrees Celsius, we need concerted efforts from not just our government, business and communities, but you. For you have the most to gain from climate action. So without further ado, I would like to invite Ms. Gayatri Chauhan, founder and president of India, India Man, to share her vision and plan for our youth with India Man. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Vijay Lakshmi. Thank you so much. A very warm welcome to all the dignitaries, to all the teachers, parents, students, and uh, most importantly, uh, the entire country's youth whom we are addressing this entire conference to. This is my proud privilege to initiate and invoke this very strong movement in India for climate action. You know that um, we have been facing so many problems with respect to climate change in the past few years. And now it is so evident that almost every state is experiencing it in some or the other form. Either it is in the form of cyclones or floods or uh, earthquakes or landslides. People are experiencing it in every form. So there is no denial of the fact that human uh, actions are causing climate change. So this initiative of India MUN this is a joint initiative by Gaia the Earth Foundation and Buzz on Earth. And both of these organizations are committed to the uh, welfare and well being. So they are committed to mainstreaming sustainability and moving beyond sustainability towards regeneration. And we, as an organization, strongly believe in the power of youth and how our youth can actually not only help our own country to move uh, forward and take a step towards a sustainable future, but also help the entire world see the things in the right perspective. I would like to touch upon a few uh, reasons that why India MUN exists in first place. The first and foremost is the fact that uh, India has the highest demographic div dividend. As you know that we have more than 316 million students in the country and that presents us with a huge force to you know, fight any sort of challenge and climate challenge is uh, of course a bigger one and we are united in making this happen. Second is the fact that uh, a lot has been done and said and discussed in the global forums. And this is the time where just activism alone is not going to help. I'm sure that many of you uh, have heard of Greta Thunberg. We all respect her, we all like her, we all like the way she has created this momentum about climate change. However, now is the time to start action because we cannot continue to uh, have the you know, uh, activism uh, wagon going on. We have to move towards action now and India is well positioned to do that and our youth are well positioned to do that. So this is my uh, humble submission and humble request to all the young people of the country to come forward and take this from the front. Especially this is the most opportune time given that tomorrow COP26 uh, officially begins and we all know that in COP26 that is uh, the conference of parties for uh, and UNFCCC is hosting that and we are seeing that all the entire 
all the global leaders and all the countries from the entire world are assembling and coming together. Business leaders are coming together. We are seeing what can be done. And this time, this is not going to be just the talks. This is going to be pretty much action. And now that uh, you also are aware that this is the decade of action from 2020 to 2030 was the decade of action and also the decade of regeneration or restoration for which we are all committed. And we have, uh, for that reason, created India MUN with two very special councils, Biodiversity and the Climate Council. The two areas that we strongly believe are going to be the torch bearers when it comes to uh, showing the sustainable future pathways. So with that, uh, I won't I mean, take much of your time and would like to welcome you all once again. So hailing India's youth for climate action. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Gayatri. Now let us hear some inspiring words from uh, our honorable, honorable Sudesh, Mr. Suresh Prabhu, Indian Sherpa to G7 and G20. Today, a new idea is getting born. A new organization is going to be set up for promoting the ideas of how to make Sustainable Development Goals a reality. The model United Nations is a very important idea. The United Nations cannot be only an institution. United Nations cannot be housed in a building alone. United Nations cannot just be a platform in which leaders of various countries will come and speak and go. United Nations has to be a strong idea we should germinate, originate in the minds of ordinary people. They must think that they have to work for promoting the ideals of United Nations. That can happen only when organizations which get motivated by commitment to such ideals come forward and try to work on these ideals. So today, we are seeing that the model United Nations India is going to work on a very important issue that is sustainable development goals. We all know that the sustainable development goals are so critical for humanity, so important for everybody's survival, so forward looking that if we can embrace all of them and implement them in spirit and letter, the world will be a much better place, much more equitable much more cleaner, much more happier and to do that we must ensure that we involve people at large into this endeavor. I am very happy that young leaders have come forward and are going to put a strong commitment into making this a reality. The United Nations was born after the Second World War, but the birth of the United Nations was necessitated by the geopolitical events. The today's birth of this organization is driven by a deep commitment towards all the issues that are addressed in sustainable development goals. So I'm sure it's a very unique body, a very interesting and important institution, a platform which will facilitate all those who believe in these ideals can come and join and can work together. The birth is not necessitated by compulsion as was the case in case of United Nations when it was formed. But this is by inner feeling, a deep commitment towards ideas. Therefore, I am sure this will become a very successful, very important and a very vibrant platform to address all the issues together. So let me wish you all the best. I can assure you one thing, that if we work together as a world community, particularly the youth of the world, we can definitely reverse the trend which is taking us to imminent disaster. Climate change is a real problem. The energy mix is a really challenging issue. Social inequality is a big problem. Quality of air, quality of water are real challenges people are facing. Food security is going to be very important because population will be close to 10 billion people and 
the resources which make agriculture possible, land, water, everything is going to be under severe stress. It will be further exasperated by the climate change. So, food security is going to be an issue. Employment is going to be a major issue in the world tomorrow because the fourth industrial revolution, which will bring new technology, but will displace a lot of existing jobs, leave apart creating new ones. These are the various challenges we have to face, and to make those challenges be addressed, people themselves who face these challenges in a day to day life must come forward and say, We'll address it together. So, all the best to you. Congratulations to all my young friends for making it happen. Kayatri Chavan, who has, she has taken this great lead in making this happen. Let me thank you very much. These are people who chant Gayatri Mantra to bring salvation. I think this Gayatri will bring salvation to the global problems. Thank you very much. All the best to you. Thank you, sir, for that inspiring words. Now, let me call upon Mr. Satya Tripathi, Secretary General, Global Alliance for Sustainable Planet, and former Assistant Secretary General, UNEP. Welcome, sir. Greetings. I'm so delighted that India Model UN was launched this morning. It fulfills a strong need that I have felt for years in terms of a pan-India model United Nations that brings together the young and the brightest from across the country to discuss what matters to us most in a spirit of inquiry, contributions, discussions, debate, and agreement. And I sincerely hope that schools and colleges from across the country will take part in this outstanding effort to not only encourage young minds to think of what is best for India, but also what is best for the world so that we can be truly a global community. Thank you and all the very best for the meaningful discussions that will happen not only in the India Model UN of 2021, but in the years ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We definitely hope India Man will inspire the youth and give them a platform to voice their opinion. Now let us hear from Mr. Patanjali Jha, uh, a natural farmer, ex-principal secretary, income tax. Welcome, sir. Uh, hello, friend. Uh, the IPCC report is out. Uh, it is alarming uh, that in the next two decades, uh, we are uh, uh, going to be crossing the threshold uh, temperature limit of 1.5 uh, degrees. Uh, I expect youth of India um, for climate change to uh, take action for which the necessary wherewithal and the technology exists with us. The simple solution to for lowering temperature and uh, for a whole host of other uh, circular economy, environmental economy, uh, is quite well known to us, the solution essentially, whereby the uh, temperature comes down uh, by two degrees uh, in the year one and with passage of time it keeps improving so friends even in the if started now actively participated by indian youth uh, it we can still arrest this not only arrest it people are only talking of sustainable goal people are still talking only about uh, how to um, you know stop this what i am suggesting is something which is good for reversing it reversing it to a level where uh, countries like India can make the difference, can take the leadership, especially youth uh, for this. The method which I suggest for which we have proof of concept is practicing uh, no-till, permanent, multi-layer food forest, where uh, things are uh, extremely productive, combine it with the compressed biogas uh, production out of the um, biomass, uh, surplus biomass, and clean fuel, and in turn you get uh, organic fertilizer. 
in turn uh, employment and poverty alleviation and the un's uh, out of the 17 sdg goals these uh, two combining can address 15 out of them one single measure so i expect and uh, that indian youth will no, not only be uh, engaged in talking about the global warming and the perils of it but would be actually combating it and would actually be showing the results and to showcase it to the rest of the world how it can be still effectively tackled thank you thank you mr ja we really hope that our uh, youngsters uh, do not only talk but take action now let us invite mr mahesh krishnamurthy independent director yes bank and advisor to buzz on earth welcome hi i'm thrilled to be here to uh, compliment and congratulate uh, india mun on the inaugural and launch of this very very important initiative that happens to also be in conjunction with uh, un day the decade of action and the cop 26 conference um, on the eve of the cop 26 conference in glasgow uh, needless to say this is a vital and a very necessary initiative and you might ask why india why the youth of india why climate change well i think one very easy answer to that is india is a major global player and is is committed to and steeped in reversing climate change and in that context who better than the youth of india to grab this bull by the horns the bull that is out of control the bull being climate change uh, the disastrous effects of climate change and so we are looking at a, a populace of about 400 million people in india who happen to be the youth of india who are highly energized pumped committed and passionate about reversing the tide on the disastrous implications of climate change so what is unique about india mun i think to my mind what is unique is the fact that the the there's an urgent and a uh, vital shift in focus from activism to tangible action. So, India and Myanmar, I wish you the very, very best of success and lots of luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, let me take this opportunity to welcome respected Maheshara Chaitanya Swamiji, Chairperson, Amrita University. Welcome, sir. Namaste. I am talking from Amrita Vishwavidya Vedam, one of the top universities in the country, uh, with fifth rank in NIRF. So I am here to give you a glimpse of the situation in the country as well as across the globe, and how a platform like India MUN can play a vital role in shaping the character of the future generation. One of the important facts we have always observed is that youth can play a very critical role to build the sustainability, the culture of sustainability. It could be through innovation. It could be with the help of problem solving, critical thinking, with the help of technology. But how far is our youth focused on solving the problems faced by the society? We have to note here that technology is growing and we have seen that countries like India are shifting because the climate change is happening in a, in a very greatest uh, uh, pace. It is very important for us to educate the youth, educate the school children, so that they build a sustainable future. And why is climate action important? 
we have already observed we have already seen and we are witnessing there are a lot of natural calamities happening there has been a major shift in the way in which the rains monsoons and those things come in in uh, in the country and uh, it is very important that we need to have very focused platforms the platforms which will focus only in these kind of issues faced by the human kind so let me congratulate india mbun for taking up this role in educating empowering or creating awareness across the youth on the climate action as a university amrita also has been very active in such kind of activities our engineers or our engineering students management students they all go to the society or on the villages they understand study their their problems and come up with a solution so this will help in two ways one is that the school children we will will be able to understand how the villagers are surviving or what all are the problems faced by those villagers second important thing is the students will be able to solve a problem with what they have learned in the classroom so precisely the concept of experiential learning with emotional intelligence you understand a person you understand their culture the diversity you come up with a solution to solve a problem so it is very critical at this point of time especially we have seen that how worse it it was in the past 2 years and what will happen something like this comes in future because of the climate action because of the climate issues the climate change so let us come together let us come forward let us join together let us join our hands together to make sure that we create we spread maximum awareness on this change in the climate action to be taken and how we can contribute let us forget about what others do but let us let us try to contribute from our side and let us contemplate on how effectively can we join this force in a through a platform like india mun thank you thanks a lot thank you chaitanya ji definitely we hope india one is going to be a platform which will create awareness and help the students towards critical thinking and find innovative solutions to our problems now let us hear from mrs pauline laravoy sustainability director techno india university hello everyone this is pauline speaking to you out of kolkata representing techno india group why east youth for sustainability india alliance and learning planet all of that all of these ecosystems i have been um you know trying to build up the dialogue and the mindset the right mindset a mindset who cares within these ecosystems and these communities of individuals and organizations that are starting to understand what is at stake when we are talking about social and environmental sustainability and especially the youth in all of these ecosystems and organizations i'm associated to especially the youth which for example in india represents close to half of the population right needs to take on these challenges i do not believe in the dialogue that says oh now the the problem and the solution remains in the hands of the youth only this is definitely partly true because the youth is going to play a really really key role in how the situation and our you know behavioral and consumption and mindset patterns are going to play out in the future for sure but the present generations as well the older generations as well all of us have to unite around that one mindset that starts caring about um about others about the environment and really understanding both in theory and in practice both uh, in um in mind and in action start to understand that we are 
sharing the same space and at the end of the day we need to be mindful of the negative and positive impact that we can have on one another. And so I think this is wonderful that uh, you know India and UN is coming up with such a big event uh, this December and we're really really glad to be associated. This is the decade of action. This is where it really is important for the youth to access the expertise and to develop this mindset that I was just telling you about as soon as they can, as early as they can, because the, the, the person that you become eventually, of course, really fundamentally um, takes place and takes shape in the opportunities that you were given as a youth growing up and building up your personal and professional identity. So all the best to the teams that are involved, all the best to the thousands of students that will be involved into the India MUN event. I'm really looking forward to meeting you over there and, um, and congratulations for putting such a meaningful event. Pay attention to each and every second of uh, knowledge and wisdom and opportunity to network that you can get out of this and I'm really looking forward to it as well. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Paulin. Definitely each and every second matters a lot. And thank you for all the wishes. Now, let us watch a compiled video of all the students, their enthusiasm, participation from teachers and our principals, those who have joined with us today. One good action repeated a million times create global change. Climate change is a real threat and ever since, Albert Gore started his campaign in 1980s. Scientists, business people, and politicians have accepted this fact and are working on ways to bring it under control. The Paris Agreement in 2015 is a legally binding international treaty for climate change. For the first time, a binding agreement brings all nations into a common cause to undertake ambitious efforts to combat climate change. UN Decade on Restoration could remove up to 26 gigatons of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. It aims to massively scale up the restoration of destroyed ecosystems as a proven measure to fight the climate crisis and enhance food security, water supply, and biodiversity. Ecosystem restoration is defined as a process of reversing the degradation of ecosystems such as landscapes, ponds, lakes, oceans to regain their ecological functionality. In other words, to improve the productivity and capacity of ecosystems to meet the needs of the society. It will certainly help us to prioritize youth and human rights protect and promote the rights of young people and support their civic and political engagement. We humans might not have been at our best behavior lately, but we still have hope in humanity and we'll make our mother nature proud. For we believe in Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Our planet is ailing and it requires our immediate attention. This is a known fact. Indian youth especially is a position to take charge of climate action right now because the youth is the biggest demographic in India and India is the largest democracy in the world and as such the Indian youth represents a large part of the world and we are a very vested stakeholder in the future of not only India but world as a whole. Because the youth is the future of the world. We are proud to be at India Model United Nations. Let us all join our hands to create a better world for future generations. We, we are, are the change makers. Now let me invite Mr. R.K. Gautam, Director, Operation Sustainability Director, Pushman and Wakefield. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Vijayesh uh, Ma'am. If it, somebody can activate my screen share. So, uh, good evening, everyone here uh, present here today. I'm happy to see so many of you uh, gathering here for the uh, for the launch session. Uh, we now know uh, the dates uh, for the India Union Conference, and we have also heard some of the teachers and students just now 
on how excited they are about to about taking part in the conference the conference is uh, or will have a pack, packed agenda uh, most of it almost 90% of which is reserved for the deliberations by the delegates in various uh, committees and councils but there are other activities equally exciting uh, on the sidelines which would keep the non delegates also firmly engaged uh, some of the activities leading up to the conference and those during the conference are listed here those 12 that you see those boxes uh, some total uh, 12 of them all in all all these activities are primarily intended to keep the momentum on and keep feeding the participants with as much information as uh, readily available and which is relevant to the theme and topics of the conference so that they are completely prepared uh, for the for the conference deliberations uh, like for example the, the first one the climate pitch the climate pitch hcha which is a very new concept that has come from the concept is actually uh, triggered by one of the teaching uh, faculties uh, on the core group uh, which is a series of sessions uh, where experts from the industry would engage uh, the students on the different concepts of climate climate change climate crisis climate action etc and uh, it will be more like an informal discussion uh, and then answering and the questions and clarification clarifying the students doubts uh, there are also an exercise uh, and and a and a few online surveys uh, sir could you please the... maximize the screen yeah sure that's can see it now okay so there are also a few uh, surveys that are underway that uh, that will collect the opinions of the students on what should the cop 26 uh, deliberate and uh, and what are the expectations from the world leaders that are gathering there and uh, this will be presented in the form of a uh, white paper to the uh, cop 26 uh, secretariat as and when we finish it and they would probably include them in the action plan going forward and then there also be a, f- a similar uh, curtain risers uh, which are basically uh, kind of uh, panel discussions uh, one or two of them before the uh, conference which will actually discuss and um, probably collate the uh, kind of theme and topics that are being uh, considered for the conference then there are a few partner events and fireside chats that are um, that are planned alongside the conference uh, that will <clears throat> provide a nice platform to the Uh, partner uh, organizations to to actually host some of the theme related events uh, on the sidelines uh, where all the participants and all the uh, non participants are welcome and then we provided access to it there'll also be a collation or a, a consolidation of newsletters that are being prepared on a fortnightly basis uh, leading up to the conference and uh, there'll be an inaugural uh, or conference specific special issue Uh, that will be launched on that day along with the e souvenir which will be again a collation of all the activities that happen uh, in the build up to the conference and this will also have some of the uh, best thoughts around the topic from various personalities including teachers and principals and also the industry experts uh, there is also a unique uh, program being uh, considered for the youth which is basically the participant uh, students uh, where there is a leadership uh, program which is lined up Uh, in consultation or in collaboration with the industry uh, stalwarts so they would bring in some industry expertise and their expectations to the uh, to the table and then uh, let the youth know what are the uh, what is the world expecting when they actually get into the world after they finish their education similarly there will be a couple of plenary sessions one in the beginning as an inaugural plenary and at the end as a closing plenary wherein uh, the award ceremonies for those um, winning participants will be presented during the uh, inaugural plenary whereas whereas uh, whereas the sorry during the closing plenary whereas there could be some of the uh, uh, events like news newsletter and is on air launches during the inaugural plenary and there will also be a lot of literary activities which is the core of the whole conference which is nothing but the deliberations across the various uh, committees and summit of subcommittees are uh, discussing various topics and themes of the conference and this will be going live and then probably will constitute most of the uh, conference time and finally the icing on the cake is the uh, never to miss or must not miss uh, musical concert uh, by our own uh, student performers uh, star performers uh, which will again be on a climate theme 
uh, that should actually close the conference. So these are 12 of the uh, events that are being planned. And again, uh, your participation is very much important in each of them. Uh, so as uh, uh, as much as participation that we see, there must be so much of uh, effect on that or, or, or uh, there'll be so much of success for that. So uh, hoping to see uh, as much participation for each of these uh, activities going forward and then to see you all in the conference in December uh, last week. Thank you very much for your participation as of now. Thank you, Jay Lakshmi, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mrs. Gayatri, you would like to speak something? I'm very happy with the uh, active participation from every member in this community. And I'm so glad that we have all the participating core committee also on the call right now. Uh, would request uh, if any of you would like to share some thoughts and share some insights or reflections or share your vision with the youth, that would be great. Uh, we can You can raise your hand and we can unmute you and you know you can switch on your video and share your thoughts. Ms. Gayatri, Lakshmi Aishwarya. Okay. Lakshmi Aishwarya, yeah. she, she did raise her hand. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. This is uh, Lakshmi Aishwarya from Madurai. Hi, Lakshmi. Uh, actually, first of all, thank you so much for choosing our video. For uh, we, I'm from Om Sadna, and this is our first uh, exposure to iMoon. And while we were just having a chance of... Uh, looking at the climate change and all such things. It was uh, so exciting for us to know what were uh, many things which we were not aware of. So thanks, first of all, for the opportunity and hope like uh, we will uh, grow even more and we will collect more of ideas for the youth, for the upcoming generation. Thanks for the opportunity, ma'am. Absolutely. You are the opportunity and you are the ones who are going to drive this world forward. So we are having all our hopes set on you. So thank you for participating. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you can unmute yourself and speak. Guys, so it's really, really wonderful platform for the youth to, you know, work on now. You know, the eminent speakers have uh, given so much insight about the topic and their motivational talk, I'm sure would have... Uh, created a spark of interest in every participant, whoever is here. So thank you for this excellent platform that is created for the youth to work on. And uh, all the principals and all the schools which are here, I think um, are all geared up, you know, to start from the next moment yeah. towards this climate change, the activity. So thank you so much for giving a platform for the children. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thank Sara? Hi everyone. Um, so hi, I'm Sara from um, Kochi, and I'm part of the organizing committee here at India Man. And to start off with, I'm really grateful that something like a Man conference is coming up at a pan India scale and focusing on sustainability and climate action. And I really believe that this is the need of the hour, and because this is seriously. Um, this is this is actually um, the responsibility of our generation to really take action and not just um, keep listening to a big people making all the decisions. And it's 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 our responsibility to be part of the decisions and to be part of the implementation as well. And um, personally, when I was in school, I had the chance to take part in a discussion around the COP COP twenty one discussing the Paris Agreement agenda. And that opened me up to a lot of opportunities when I was in school and beyond. And it motivated me to actually um, contribute and be part of um, something great like this. And I really hope all the students and everyone involved in this um, gets uh, even more motivated. And yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you so much. I'm sure, yeah. certainly. And uh, I would love to share that Sarah has been the brain behind most of the things that you are going to see and you have seen so far. So uh, she is very integral part of the uh, organizing committee. So thank you, Sarah, for all the passion and all the uh, initiative that you bring on board. Thank you. Thanks for the platform, Gayatri. Uh, Gayatri, Reshma Ganesh. Um, hi, and um, congratulations. 
Wonderful to see this uh, whole platform and the inaugural. Um, MUN um, helps uh, youth and gives opportunity for the youth to give their ideas and uh, give access to talk to people all over the world. And this platform that you are providing, it really provides youth to take up and look into implementing climate friendly land use and conservation and as well as the agricultural policies. Absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations and um, great looking forward for the entire uh, process and involvement. So once again, best wishes. Thank you. Anyone else um, would love to share your thoughts or any reflections? Gautam sir, would you like to share something? No, no, uh, I'm, I'm good with it. I have shared whatever I wanted to. So I only hope to see uh, active participation in each of these events because the, all these events are actually made for the participants to gain more uh, insights into the topics which are not regular. So uh, it would also help them going forward. So that could be a very uh, encouraging start to the conference uh, inaugural. Uh, if everybody start participating in this, we can actually uh, line them up as per the convenience of the students and the teachers uh, in, in terms of dates and timing. Thank you. Um, Ma'am, then you can uh, deliver the word of thanks. Thank you so much. So dear guests and participants, we have now come to the close of this truncated, truncated launch session when we have, where we have formally announced the dates and the activities for India MUN conference. But the session will not be complete if I don't thank few people in person, Honorable Mr. Suresh Prabhu, India's Sherpa to G7 and G20, Mr. Patanjali Jha, ex-Principal Secretary, Income Tax of India, Mr. Mahesh Krishnamurti, Independent Director, Yes Bank, Mr. Maheshwara Chaitanya, Chairperson, Amrita University, Ms. Pauline Lavarera, Sustainability Director, Techno India, and Mr. R.K. Gautam, Director, Senior Director of Operations, Sustainability Director, Pushman and Wakefield. Thank you for all the unwavering support from all of you. And it's time to thank all those organizations and individuals who have extended their unwavering support, not just for making this launch event happen, but also for their continued support for so continued support and participation in the numerous associated activities being planned that we have just went through before and during the main India MUN conference. We particularly extend our gratitude, our vision partners, ecosystem partners, technology partners, including Google, CBAC, and Amrita University for extending their official institutional support for India MUN. We also thank those who have lent their supporting voices in the videos you just watched earlier in the program. Thank you all and looking forward to seeing your active participation in all the upcoming activities. Thank you all and Jai Hind. Now, can we, uh, can we uh, all stand up for the national anthem? Sure, ma'am. Thank you all once again.